Hi guys and welcome to the Happy Heart. I'm so glad that you guys came by today. Um, we are making chimichangas for dinner tonight. And this has been a family favorite in my house for about eight months now. I actually found it on, I want to say Pinterest. And I just took screenshots with my phone and that's how I actually made it. We made it once and I was hooked. I was like, this is easy, it's good, I love it. Um, it's If you're not really familiar with um, more like Mexican Hispanic cooking, it's a really good dish that kind of gives you that flavor, and even though it's just a really easy recipe. So we'll go ahead and we'll get cooking, and I'm so glad that you guys came by. All right guys, this is what we need for this recipe. It is, this is actually the filling. We have a quarter of a cup of um, on, green onions. That is two cut up, um, a cup of your favorite salsa, two cups of cooked shredded chicken. I actually boiled mine and shredded it in the KitchenAid. Uh, a cup of cheese. This was actually the kind I had, but the recipe calls for a cup of um, just regular cheddar cheese, um, shredded. And then the seasoning is oregano and cumin. And you guys, we also need tortillas for this. All right guys, so the easiest thing, get a bowl, combine. It's easy, easy, easy. So my two cups of chicken. My green onions, we're just gonna throw those in. It says, about a cup of cheese, and usually about a handful of cheese is a cup. I usually put in a little bit more just for fun. And salsa, which I have to get my husband to open. Can you come open this? Look at those hands. So this is actually my favorite, if you guys have never heard of it. It just says to use your favorite salsa, so whatever you like. This one is called Green Mountain Gringo. I like this because it has a little bit more of like a cumin taste, and it's a mild salsa, so go as hot as you would like. So in this, it's a cup. It ends up being about half the jar. A teaspoon of ground cumin and a half a teaspoon of dried oregano leaves crushed. I just use dry, um, the dry seasoning oregano because that, that's all I had and a lot of times I actually omit it. So, trusty measuring spoons here. So we have all of our ingredients in the bowl. And really, now is the easy part. We just stir it all together. And this is gonna be our filling. Chimichangas are, they kind of look like burritos to me. I have no idea what the origin is or what they're supposed to be. I should ask my husband, he would probably know. No idea. If it looks like you need more cheese, or you like more cheese, um, or you want to get that like melted together a little bit more, I put in um, a little bit more sometimes, and sometimes I don't. So it just kind of depends what you are going for. All right, guys. So we are going to. All you're going to do is fill this, and you don't have to put very much in it. We just looked up the root of chimichanga and what it means and it's basically like a deep fried burrito um, but we are baking these so this is a healthier version of the chimichanga so you're gonna put your filling and I get accused all the time of putting too much filling in here so this you kind of have to mess with and then you're gonna want to fold it similar to like a burrito so sides in and 
um, you really want to make a rectangle. That's what makes the chimichanga the chimichanga. So you, we are making a little bit of a rectangle. So you're going to fold it like a present in and then up. I put them on a greased cookie sheet, which I have right over here. And I usually make one or two per my family member. Depending. And everybody loves them. So when you put the filling in, just put it in kind of a rectangle. And the, the cool part about this is you can actually make them as big or as small as you want. I've done it where I've cut the tortillas down or used different kind of tortillas. So I've kind of done whole different ways and you can kind of be creative with this. So just plain old flour tortillas always make everything good, right? So we're gonna fold in and then we're gonna fold up. That is actually probably more what we're looking for, is that rectangle. We are going to bake these in an oven at 400 degrees. I already preheated my oven. And the only other thing we're going to do that makes them crispy and yummy on top is we are going to put melted butter on top of them before they go in the oven. I'm going to take some melted butter and put it all over them before you put it in the oven. And this is what makes the outside crispy. Instead of deep frying them how we're traditionally supposed to, this is what makes the outside crispy and yummy. Alright, we're putting it in a 400 degree oven for 25 minutes. I've done two and bake them for 25 minutes. But look at how much they puff up. Alright, so bake them at 20 minutes at 400 degrees, or you can lower your temperature to about 275 or 375, I'm sorry, and bake them for a little bit longer. Mine seem to always be okay, but I do remember that the first time I baked these, it did say 25 minutes and it was wrong. So um, this is our plate. So we have a chimichanga, which looks like it'd be burnt. It looks like it'd be hard, but let me tell you, it's not. You just cut into it like butter and it's wonderful. And I served it with a side of rice. I always serve it with sour cream for my family because that's how they like it. But you can really garnish it with anything, salsa, anything um, that your family would like. All right guys, so to prove it looks like it'd be super hard, but it is not. We're gonna just cut right into it. Um, it kind of goes through super easy and falls apart. So you'll see it's really easy to cut and I'll show you the inside. Very easy to cut and this is really flaky and nice. Um, instead of being deep fried and that, that butter helps that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and um, I hope you liked this requested video. It was something that was requested off of the $800 grocery haul that I did and so I'm really glad that you guys requested it. I have a couple other ones coming out as well um, that were requested off of that. So if I talked about anything that you're like, hey, I really want to see, just let me know and I'll make more videos, no problem. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time that I upload a video. And I am going to go eat. I'll see you guys again. Bye.